As a teacher, having a whiteboard in the classroom is great, but what if you have 30 kids? How do you get them all to interact with the board at once? What if you have a mixed device environment where you have Chromebooks and Macs and iPads all together? How do you get software that works across all those platforms? My name is Dan Sharp. I'm a ViewSonic professional development trainer and I have experience in education over 12 years from tech coaching to being an administrator. Today we're going to look at the MyViewBoard web solution. This is a live whiteboarding web-based program that gives interactivity between the teacher and the kids at a really responsive rate. Let's jump right in. First you're going to go to MyViewBoard.com. This is going to be your hub, so you need to sign in and make sure you're signed in with your Office 365 or G Suite account. From there, you're going to select Start My View Board. This is going to open a new tab, and this is going to give you instant access to your whiteboard. You can see here that it's a blank canvas. I have tools like shapes, pens, all that. For students to join, touch the arrow in the top right. That's going to display a join code. Students on their device Go to myviewboard.com. From there, they're going to click the icon, which is join in my view board. They're going to type in their name, and then they're going to type in the code. You can touch the code twice to get a larger preview so that everyone in the class can see what the join code is. I have an iPad here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Safari browser. I'm going to locate the join a my view board screen icon. It's going to ask me what my name is. And then it's going to ask me for the login code, which is FA85DD. And it is case sensitive, so make sure that you type it in correctly. Once typed in, you touch sign in, and it joins me into the session. You'll see that my canvas on my device is blank, just like the teacher canvas. Over here on the left, I can see all the students that have joined the session. This is called your student list. I can go to my magic box. You'll see I have a YouTube link. And I can add a video on action verbs. It's going to do a search in YouTube. It is filtered. And then I can add this fun song about action verbs. Now, you'll notice, again, on the device, that it's all live. Whatever I manipulate here on the canvas instantly happens on a student device. If we create a new page, let's set a background. We're going to use this note card one. Once the background's been chosen, what I can do is I can put students into huddles. Here in Huddle Management, I can choose how many groups I want. So right now it's at four. I could choose up to 100 groups. And then when I move the slider over, you can see the background is replicated. That's because now every student has been put in their own group and they can annotate. So I can ask a question like, tell me what are some action verbs? And they can start annotating on their canvas. In order for students to annotate, their tools have to be activated. So I'm going to enable all tools for students. And now they can come, say like on their tablet, and they can add an action verb like running. And you'll see here that it shows it live. In addition to students being able to write on their own canvas, I can go into the magic box, go do an image search for action verbs. This is going to give me images from Google. They are filtered. So now I can drag in an image to this student. And what that's going to allow them to do is to have some extra support, like differentiation, here in the canvas. So now they can use it to help them determine some more action verbs. Again, you can see the benefit of having a live canvas where it's interactive, students can annotate, and be a part of the lesson instead of just consumers of the content. If you like what you saw today, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We want to make sure that you get all the access and content that you need so follow us on social media for any updates related to my view board. Also, if you have any questions, be sure to reach out to us. Find us in the description. We'd love to know what's going on at your schools and how we can support you more with my view board. Thanks for watching.